Hi and hello everyone. This is Kumail Ratha. In this video we are going to discuss recursion in Python. Uh, how does recursion happen and what does it mean? Uh, it's very simple. Recursion means repeating itself. So when a function repeats itself within the function it means recursion. And it has to be stopped at a certain point. Like in loop we have a starting point and an ending point or a condition for example in while loop there is a condition that that identifies when it is stopping otherwise it just keeps on iterating and might hang up your machine so what we doing in recursion it means like uh, we are trying to repeat the function within itself so you can see here like this is an example function where a factorial is created it takes an uh, its parameter of n that is that could be any number but if no number is applied it takes it uh, as one and then here it just keeps on repeating until it reaches one so you can see here n minus one factorial the same function is used the same function is returned and is multiplied by the argument that is supplied by the user how does it work in this example we are using this recursion function to calculate factorial now in factorial you know that if we are calculating the factorial of 4 it means it is going to multiply by 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 1 so that means if you multiply 4 by the factorial of 3 it will calculate the result or if we are calculating factorial of 3 that means we can multiply 3 by the factorial of 2 it will get the result and if we want to generalize this that means whatever number is supplied we are going to multiply that number with a factorial of a one number less and we will get the result and this is exactly what we have done here whatever number applied supplied here by the user we are just subtracting one from it and multiplying it with that number and this would stop when n equals to 1 this is the base condition and this is the recursive project procedure so it has actually two conditions to fulfill the base condition and the recursive procedure the recursive procedure is that the number is going to multiply by the factorial of one number less this is the recursive procedure and base condition is when the n equals to 1 now what if n is less than 1 if the user supplied a number that is less than 1 so we are going to give that not applicable message let's try out for example here I am calculating again the factorial of 4 and that gives 24 when we calculate factorial without giving any arguments so by default it is going to take 1 and when we kick, are going to calculate factorial of 0 it is going to give not applicable and if we give minus 1 again it is going to give not applicable I hope you understood the concept and uh, if you have any queries you can uh, get in touch with me by using the links in the description at, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the video in order to keep uh, getting new videos. Thank you.